How would you like to get away for 31 nights and experience New Zealand, Australia, Singapore on a five-star modern luxury ship with Celebrity? We can bring you that tonight for under £3,000. So, this starts off with a flight from London to Singapore where we're in a five-star hotel for two nights. You are indeed. And on the second day here, you get a free Singapore by night tour, which again is all included in the price. This is a, a multi a uh, cultural melting pot of Chinese, of Indian, of Malay cuisine. It's one of the world's great eating capitals. It's great for shopping, for duty-free bargains. Uh, really, really is great. Um, you've got great things to do for the history. You can go to Raffles Hotel, go and have a Singapore sling in the long bar. You can sit in the Marina Bay Sands overlooking the whole city, that wonderful uh, resort that's built like a ship sitting on oh, top of the there. there it is, three skyscrapers and the boutique team at Nature Park. It's one of the only two cities in the world that has virgin rainforest in the centre of the city. Okay, then you're heading out of here. You're then transferring to the port and embarking Celebrity Solstice. Um, and Celebrity Cruise Lines, of course, is absolutely incredible. We're going to see some video now of this incredible five-star American cruise line. Uh, and, and it's, uh, you know, coming to that I've cruised with now for, you know, four times. Uh, every, every cruise has been perfect, Keith. Well, they, they, they are superb. They, they really focus on the food. They focus on the entertainment. Remember, as always, we're cruising that all your food, all your entertainment is included in what you're seeing. Um, the great thing about them is even when it comes to their buffets, they have a thing called SPE certified. And that means that uh, the food they're putting out in the, in, under, those, under those notes is sustainable, it's sustainably sourced, it's locally sourced, uh, it's organic. Uh, it's really incredible. They have restaurants on board that are going for their Michelin stars. You've got the expanse of the lawn club there with real glass, where you can see the glass blow, the glass being blown in the hot glass show in front of you. Um, you can see on the screen, by the way, Celebrity Cruises um, with Planet Cruise. Well, Planet Cruise were the UK's number one agent for them, so that's where we get such good deals. We are. You know, you go down and see these amazing shows oh, in yeah. the evening, you know, great Broadway-style shows. You can dance the night away in the disco. Uh, and above all, you can enjoy an abundance of really good eating great food from healthy from healthy food all the way through to really delicious indulgences so we we know you'll you'll love the celebrity experience but keith come where are we going to be cruising to yeah this is an incredible itinerary so hold on to your hats here we go uh, you've got a relaxing uh, a couple of days at sea before you go to your first port of call, it's Bali. Um, it's, well, Bano is the port itself. It's one of the 18,000 different Indonesian islands. Um, and of course, it's a great place for you to go and see undulating hills thick with terraced rice paddies and fields of banana and coffee, miles of pristine beaches, some of the world's top spas, dense cork forests that are haunted by gregarious long tailed monkeys that swing through the trees alongside you, and otherworldly temples. And whatever you see, go and see a ketchup. Uh, it's the island's traditional fire dance. Then you've got some relaxing days at sea before you then hit Australia. You're going to Darwin first. This is closer to Indonesia than any other Australian city. It's named after Charles Darwin, who stopped here on HMS Beagle in 1839. It's the capital of Australia's vast and sparsely populated Northern Territory. It's famous for these guys. That's the Jesus Bird, so named because it walks on water. And that's at the Kakadu Park. Um, you've got also, uh, which is World Heritage listed, and you've got lush rainforest there, giant termite mills, uh, mounds, waterfalls, wildlife, and a treasure of Aboriginal rock art. Um, it's an amazing place to go and see, and you also do sports fishing there. The Barramundi is the big fish to go and uh, fish for there. Then a relaxing day at sea before you head around the coast of Australia. Next is Cairns. This is one of Australia's most exciting destinations because it's home to some of the world's greatest natural wonders. No particular order, just north of the city, stretching over 26 miles is the Marlin Coast. It's a mecca for beach lovers and sun worshippers. Head inland and you enter into the World Heritage listed Daintree Forest, the planet's oldest surviving tropical rainforest. And you can do a sky rail right over the top of it. Um, right the way through to Corunda, uh, where you see parrots and butterflies and platypus and freshwater crocodiles. And you can also explore offshore the Great Barrier Reef, one of the only living things visible from space. Over 1,600 miles of water, idyllic beaches and stunning coral reefs. Arley Beach is next, one of the best departure points again to explore the Great Barrier Reef and also to explore uh, the Whitsunday Islands of which it is one itself. Brilliant for scuba diving, uh, some of the best diving we've ever done here. Relaxing day at sea before you go to Brisbane, or as the, as the locals call it, Bris Vegas. This is 600 miles north of Sydney. It's really good fun place. It's a party city, uh, real semi-tropical climate, 
situate on the gold and sunshine coasts, right in the centre. You can head to Mount Tambourie uh, to hike the fertile parklands full of macadamia nut and avocado and kiwi fruit, or go to Steve Irwin Zoo uh, and see uh, some of these guys uh, at the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. That's the best place in the world to cuddle a koala. And until you have cuddled a koala, fact everyone, you have not lived. It's the most amazing experience. <laughs> I, I really want to do that. It's, it's yeah, brilliant, honestly, really it's do. brilliant, I, I know. And then, relaxing day at sea, before you then go through to Sydney. Okay, Sydney, uh, you're going to sail in, you're going to see the Opera House there, and what the, 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 what the locals call the Coat Hanger, that wonderful bridge. You're going to dock right in the centre there, um, and you're going to, by Circular Quay, and have a chance to explore this amazing city. You can trace the roots of the original uh, convicts that arrived here, or you can go into the Blue Mountains and go and explore some of the wonderful wine, a uh, Marlborough wine district, which is on your front doorstep. Or you can go through to the Rocks itself, which is the site of the first Penal Connolly, or you can just, just basically just soak some of the amazing coffee and cuisine up. Or I don't even mention the beaches. Do the beach walk from Coogie Beach through to Bronte. Incredible. Okay, then you can have a couple of relaxing days at sea before, get this, you're then cruising through some fjords, but these fjords are situated in New Zealand. Milford Sound is first up. You've also got Doubtful Sound and Dusky Sound, and they are incredible. You're going to be lost for words. Your heart is going to be beating, and you're not going to know what to say. All you're going to be able to do is look at these huge mountains, and you're going to feel so minuscule, so unimportant as you look around you. Um, and just see the power of nature. Except you will feel important because the cruise line make you feel important, so never too great for that. Okay, then we came through to, to New Zealand, uh, to Dunedin. Uh, this is a little bit of Edinburgh at New Zealand. Uh, you'll even might hear the bagpipes. And it's home to New Zealand's only castle. Then we're going through to Akura. Uh, this is New Zealand. It's on the eastern shores of the South Island and it sits in the shadows of the snow-capped Southern Andes. Uh, boutiques, harbour full of the rare Hector dolphins. If you spot one, take me a photo and, and, and tweet me on it. Then a relaxing day at sea before you then go through to Taranga. This is great. This is uh, a wonderful chance for you uh, to really explore this, this great settlement. Originally settled by the Maori in the 13th century. It's on the North Island's eastern coast. Uh, Captain Cook, of course, stopped here and, and named the area the Bay of Plenty. Um, for obvious reasons, because of how much the abundance of, of everything that was there. Go and explore the, the hot springs, the geysers and the exploding mud pools of Rotorua, and go and see all about Maori culture. That's the primary attraction there. And if you get a chance, go and see the sheepdogs working and herding in those sheep and cows. Then we're going through to Auckland. Uh, this is the only city in the world built on top of active volcanic field of over 60 separate volcanoes. It's incredible. It's a true maritime city with a vibrant waterfront district, um, an iconic harbour bridge that you've seen pictures of there. You've got the Devonport uh, uh, and Waikiri ranges on your front doorstep. You can ho hop over to Waiheke Island. Um, incredible views wherever you look. Head up to the Sky Tower for 360 degree views like this, and you can even bungee jump off the top. And then finally, the Bay of Islands in New Zealand. Many consider this the location for the world's finest beaches. It's the ideal place to enjoy things like kayaking, mountain biking, parasailing, swimming with dolphins, scuba diving, or literally having a cocktail and just admiring the wonder of creation. Oh, and breathe. Oh, well, a final couple of days at sea for you to relax and enjoy that five-star modern luxury. Uh, back to Sydney where you disembark in your flight, of course, over to London. That was amazing. Uh, Keith, I think you did a great job there. You really, you know, really gave I wish us I had a, more time, mate. I know. There's but so much more I could tell you, but it is an amazing You gave us a flavour. And actually, so. you know, if you want to find out more, because I know it's, you know, it's a big decision to make tonight, um, give us a call. We've got other cruise experts on the end of the phone to talk you through and to help you more. So this is what's included. They return flights from London, all your overseas transfers as well. Again, we can change those flights if possible. You're getting that extra two-night stay in a five-star hotel in Singapore and that Singapore by night tour. And if you want to um, stay in Sydney a little bit longer at the end, of course, we can add on an extra two nights there from only 279. The most important thing to do is say, give us a call. Uh, and also, if you do decide to book, you only need a deposit for this one as well. The ID number there is 95560. We have one date available. That truly is a life changing trip, isn't it? Uh, now, there are various um, staterooms available. Just want to introduce you to concierge class on celebrity. Uh, loads of extras in that, including things like priority check in, personalised concierge service. You get welcome gifts, things like your sparkling wine, fresh fruit. I know Keith loves a custom blended shower gel, don't oh, you? Oh, I do. I love a bit of custom blended yeah. shower gel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's a really nice uh, <laughs> class. Um, and don't forget, um, if you'd say want to know anything else, give us a call on that free phone number 0800 840 1088.